In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up tail scale on TrueNAS. So what we're going to do firstly is open up your tail scale. Okay, so log into your tail scale website, log into your account. And once you're on your account here, the first thing that we're going to do is generate the authorization key, which we will need to use on the TrueNAS. Okay, so go to your tail, uh, tail, tail scale account and then go to settings here. So go to the settings and from the settings, scroll down and you'll see keys option. Click on the keys option. And from keys, you'll see auth keys. Okay, click on generate auth key and then generate the key. Okay, so click on generate key and then just generate it. Once you have generated the key, copy it. All right, copy it. And then next, we go to install tail scale on the true NAS. To do that, log on to your true NAS scale web interface. Okay, log into that. And then once you have logged into that, okay, navigate to the app section and select available applications or discover apps. Okay, so just which way. So if you have available application, select on it. And from there, you will see Telscale. Okay, search for Telscale. And when you see Telscale, select the official Telscale application. Okay, so the one here. Okay, and then click on install. Click on install and install it. So once you have installed it, you'll get to, while installing, you will get to, you will prompt, you will be prompted with the um, configuration details here. So in the configuration details, the auth key, that's the key that we just copied. Select that, I mean, paste it. Okay, paste the key that you just copied, paste it here. Okay, once that paste and then the auth key, you can just like uh, paste the key once you're done with that, then user space. If you intend to use TrueNAS scale as an exit node, then ensure you tick this. Otherwise, you don't need to tick this. Okay, and once everything done, the roots, the root is your, um, if you want to access like a specific local networks through this uh, tailgate tunnel, then the relevant IP ranges, which is the root is here. You need to like enter that. Okay, once that's done, click on save. Okay. Click on save and that will deploy the and initiate the installation of this and that's basically pretty much it is.